Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've recently got some brand new leaks in regards to some future content for MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. Most likely the season three update content, at least some of it has already surfaced thanks to some brand new game files courtesy of season two reloaded. We also have some new secret changes that are now live across all modes as well as a part of the season to reloaded update some things that were not necessarily included in the patch notes initially for what reason quite frankly we do not know it's kind of been a recurring thing here for a couple of years now which is a bit unfortunate regardless though let's start with some of these season three leaks because this stuff is pretty interesting here for the most part it's relatively ambiguous it's nothing too crazy in terms of the broad scale content but it's still some new season three intel nonetheless so Thanks to the Season 2 Reloaded update, they always add in some prep files for future updates as we've talked about in the past with leaks. Also, for what it's worth, might as well get it out of the way now. Keep in mind, leaks are just leaks. Things are subject to change, so take everything here with a grain of salt. This could be pushed back to Season 3 Reloaded to Season 4. We just don't know until Call of Duty officially says something. But according to the game files and COD exploits over on Twitter, there are now some new voice lines in game for some upcoming operators that I think a lot of us are going to be very excited to see in game the first one is valeria of course she was one of the main characters in the campaign this year and let's face it we all know everyone has been wondering where the valeria operator is pretty much ever since we had the campaign early access period she became a fan favorite pretty quickly and it does seem like according to the game files valeria is going to be a new operator here in the relatively near future Right alongside Valeria from the campaign, we also have Alejandro Vargas, another main character that we had from that one that was missing in the operator selection. Well, we had a bunch of the other ones, obviously, with Task Force 141 and whatnot. So simply for, you know, story purposes, campaign purposes, it would make sense to have all the main characters from the game playable in multiplayer, which is kind of ironic considering we just now got access to Task Force 141 characters with Season 2 Reloaded uh, outside of the Vault Edition, obviously, which is a bit annoying and a bit strange still. But regardless, Valeria and Vargas from the campaign do seem to be coming in the future for uh, new operators. They're probably both going to be, you know, obtainable through a store bundle, maybe the Season 3 Battle Pass. But that said, there's also one other operator that has uh, been found in the files, and that, of course, is Alex. Now, a bit of spoiler territory here. If you have not played the new episode of The Raids yet for Season 2 Reloaded, I'm going to give you a chance to fast forward to the next time frame in the video or the next chapter that I'll have time stamped. But at the end of this raid, you do run into Alex from MW 2019 yet again. He is now a part of the canon storyline. As we know with the raids, these are episodic drops continuing the story of the MW2 campaign in the MW universe. So uh, Alex is now back in the story yet again. So it would not be a surprise at all to see him as a new operator. We saw that happen with Gaz. Basically, he was a part of the raid there. Um, and then he became an operator the next season playable through that, despite also being in the campaign as well. Kind of weird how they're approaching that stuff, but three pretty important characters to the overall story here all seem to be coming in the future, either via a store bundle or via the battle pass. One of these will probably be available in the battle pass, the other ones through a store bundle per usual. Now, another new leak that we got recently via Medinas HD over on Twitter is in regards to one of the potential season three weapons. There were some new files updated there. Unfortunately, this one is about as ambiguous as it gets. We really don't get any details out of what is presumably the code name or a made up name for the weapon because they don't have the licensing rights for it. Similar to how we have like the SR25 in game right now, but they call it the Tempest Torrent. This could be another situation there, but uh, in game, there's now a new placeholder like files essentially that has a knife as the placeholder that probably doesn't mean anything, but the weapon it's describing is called the Yusenko or the Yushenko, U-S-E-N-K-O. So that could be, like I said, a made up name describing a weapon. It could just be a code name for something, but it does appear that the Yushenko is going to be a brand new weapon here in season three. We know we're going to see at least two to three new ranged ones throughout that season, two initially at launch with the battle pass, and then more than likely one with season three reloaded as well. Uh, keep in mind that's dropping in early April. The initial start of that season is coming then. So we'll have more official information on this one in the coming weeks. But, you know, looking at the trend, a couple years back, it seemed like every single season, they were kind of a lot more diverse when it comes to DLC weapon drops. We had a couple rifles, a couple SMGs. They introduced some pistols, some shotguns, some kind of off-meta weapons. 
now though it seems very clear that they are focused on introducing more dlc weapons that are going to be used widely across a bunch of player uh you know skill levels here meta weapons if you will so a lot of rifles a lot of lmgs snipers smgs the most popular weapons in the game and not so much niche weapons like we'll get the crossbow here and there but that's not a huge deal we'll get uh, a random shotgun here and there but sometimes it's good for like three or four weeks and then it's nerfed into oblivion so wouldn't be surprised if this was like a new kind of sniper of some kind or some other main meta weapon that's a rifle or an smg it's a lack of diversity in weapon drops but it's ultimately a business move on their point hey let's introduce a weapon that a lot of players are going to be comfortable with and that can uh, buy the bundle or go for the unlock challenge whatever the case may be now as we move on into some of these secret changes that came with season two reloaded quick reminder if you're new here every day i got you covered with the latest news intel updates meta changes everything going on in mw2 warzone 2 and dmz so if you want to stay up to date with that stuff feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on those post notifications and if you guys enjoy the video if you guys are excited for season three coming up here in a few weeks let me know by dropping a like on it as well would be really appreciated as it does really help the channel grow now initially back during my developer call regarding season two reloaded the devs did give us a very brief rundown of some of the weapon changes that would be coming with season two reloaded things like the ral nerf uh the broadside nerf that definitely was not enough uh a change to the sacken and i uh you know kind of remember i was like i swear they said in this update preview that they were going to be changing the recoil on the Sacken MG38. And then the patch notes came out and there was a nerf to the Sacken MG38, but it was a damage range nerf. And I was like, man, I must have just misheard them when I was writing down some notes. I just must have typed out the wrong thing or was thinking something else and wasn't paying attention. But it turns out Exclusive Ace did some testing and yes, they did in fact nerf the damage range, but they also did nerf the recoil on the uh, SAC and MG38 as well. So now it's going to have a bit more bounce. It's going to be a little bit harder to control. Honestly, it's still one of the easier LMGs and one of the easier long range weapons in the game. And it still has a very competitive TTK, but that is a decent weapon change that was unmentioned in the patch notes, which is a bit strange, especially considering they talked about it in our update preview. So they knew it was changing, but then I guess they just forgot to put it in the patch notes there. I imagine that could get amended in a future hotfix update where they add in like a couple of new miniature patch notes, if you will, and change them, uh, some things around. If that gets updated officially, you know, I'm sure we'll cover it because it'll include some other changes. But just a heads up, yes, the sacking got more of a nerf than was initially uh, revealed in the season two reloaded patch notes. Also, another minor change for multiplayer that you might have noticed a couple of weeks back, there was a pretty large discussion around Santa Senia, the 6v6 map variant of it, and how it was seemingly out of the rotation completely in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. One day, we got a slight little hotfix update and Santa Senia could not be found anywhere. It was still in the game in like private match and whatnot, but if you queued Kill Confirmed or Dom or TDM or whatever else, you just couldn't play on Santa Senia. Well now, uh, just prior to the Season 2 Reloaded update and made more clear after the Season 2 Reloaded update, Santa Senia is now back in the rotation. So it was at one point mysteriously removed for no reason. And then now it's been added back once again, unmentioned completely. So it was, uh, you know, a little bit of a sneak in, sneak out kind of vibe there. Santa Senia is now back in the game. So you can now back out of it whenever you get it in the queue because you don't want to play a map where cars kill you more than other players. That said, it was a secret change. And with all that being said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for this one. A couple of new leaks, a couple of secret changes hidden changes whatever you want to call them for mw2 and warzone if you guys enjoyed the video though let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here feel free to hit that sub button so you can always stay up to date with all things going on in cod but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day i will catch you guys later peace out